Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're making Instant Pot Pumpkin Snickerdoodle Bread. So I'm Kristen. And I'm Elise. So usually you just see me on YouTube, but now the sisters are joining me. She's so. teaching us her Instant Pot ways. So every Monday we share an Instant Pot recipe with you guys. So if you wanna learn more about the Instant Pot or you just need some fun new ideas, make sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss any of our recipes. So today we're making Instant Pot pumpkin snook snickerdoodle bread and it's really the best of both worlds. We love <laughs> snickerdoodles and we love pumpkin recipes so I figure, you know, I'm gonna just try and make something in it. Now if yeah. you make bread in the Instant Pot, it has a little bit of a different texture. It's a little bit thicker. But mm -hmm. after I, I practiced this recipe, made this recipe multiple times, and it comes out as like a pumpkin pie texture. Mm -hmm. So it's delicious and I'm excited to share it yeah. with you. So, all right. So we're gonna start with a fourth a cup of butter. And it's supposed to be room temperature, but we kind of <laughs> cheat and microwave it and it's just how it is. Just so. nuke it for a second, exactly. you're good. Then we're gonna move to a fourth cup of olive oil. All right, what's next, what do we got? So, oh, gotcha. I'll start mixing this. And then let's do the cup of sugar. Okay, so we have one cup of sugar here. There you go. Oops, and sorry. maybe pumpkin next. Yes. All right, so we're gonna do one cup of pumpkin. So this usually comes with like, what? Um, almost two cups. So mm -hmm. we're gonna, again, kind of eyeball it. Can you use your spoon? Yep. Awesome. And be sure to get the pumpkin puree, not the pumpkin pie filling. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Now let's add the flour. So this is an awesome measuring cup. <laughs> it's one and a half cups of flour here. So we're just gonna slowly dump that in. And then just add a teaspoon of our baking powder. The thing I like about Instant Pot desserts, I've tried cookies and brownies in there, is the texture. It's true. That it, this would be similar to a pumpkin pie. It is like pie. a pumpkin pie. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Okay, you mix that all in. We're just gonna add just a little bit of salt. It's like a teaspoon of salt. I mostly just like to kind of eyeball it again. I eyeball a lot. Mm -hmm. And then just one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Smells good. It smells does. like it the holidays. It smells like pumpkin. All right, you ready for this? We should have done this when we did the liquid, but we're adding it now. <laughs> Fine. It is. It all mixes. This is one of those recipes you just kind of throw it all together and it will work out just fine. Okay, looking good. We forgot the eggs. We're gonna add those. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add eggs. We do know how to cook. The Instant Pot is forgiving, I will it say that. I feel like so many, of, so many Instant Pot recipes can kind of just be mixed and the pressure magic does the work just for you. Just cooks everything evenly. All right, let's, let's see your skills, see if we can mix that all together. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so. I'm so excited, one, to not only show you how to make the pumpkin bread, but to show you these awesome silicone molds that I got. Usually I kind of struggle with things that go in the Instant Pot, but these are awesome. So it comes with two of them. And the recipe that we're um, making today, only you only have to use one of them. So we're gonna put one side. So my trick with this is that you have to spray it really well or it will stick to it. So we're gonna take some cooking spray and just spray it Go to lot. town. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, if you can see, it has lots of different lines and curves to it. You just want to make sure that you spray each individual one so it won't stick. There we go, on the outside too. And that makes it so pretty when you pull it out yes. and it has this design on it. It's fun. Okay, so now we're just going to very carefully, we'll move this up so you guys can see, pour that into it, all right? Okay. So I kind of just did chunks at a time, just going around the instant pot. Okay. Oh, sorry, do you want me to pour? You want to hold it? Yeah. Okay. You hold it and I'm just going to gently pour it in. All right. And then it kind of just, there we go. Two man job. Yes, it is. There should always be two you women do it in the kitchen. Kristen, Kristen's made it on her own. I have. I just scoop. It just goes a little slower. All right. Yeah, that fills it about to the top. I know. So you want to make sure that you have about an, an inch. Um, from the top because it will expand. Okay, so if you can see right now, the, the goal is you want to cover the whole thing. So I'm just going to kind of bounce it a little bit, make sure all the air bubbles are out, and so it will go into all those little cracks and crevices, so. All right, what do you think, looking good? Yeah. 
No, this will be okay. Okay, so now when you're making desserts in the Instant Pot, you wanna make sure that whatever you're cooking is kind of sealed, because you don't want a ton of liquid in there. So we're gonna use some foil and cover it the best that we can and to try and keep some of the liquid some of the out. moisture mm -hmm. out. Now I have seen people, they put like a paper towel down first and then they do it. But this one, because it's made out of the silicone, I, I did the foil a few times and it worked just fine. So that's what we're gonna do. So you just wanna make sure that you try and seal it the very best that you can. Okay, so now we have this. Let's put, um, I like to do about one cup of water in the bottom of the Instant Pot. So I have my little trivet that the Instant Pot came with. I'll put that in the bottom. And then let's put the one cup of water right in the Instant Pot. Nice. And I'm just gonna slowly just put this in. Ooh. All nice. right. Okay, I think we're ready. So I'm gonna put the lid on. That little jingle is <laughs> great. Okay, so you wanna make sure your little knob, you wanna turn that to ceiling. That's probably the most important step yeah. here. So this one is the Instant Pot Duo, so it has a pressure cook button. If you have the, the Lux, you'll have a manual button. They do the same thing. So we're gonna push pressure cook button. And then because it's so thick and dense, we have to go up to 45 minutes. So we're cooking it for 45 minutes. That's how much you would have to cook it in the oven for. There we go but you don't get the same texture in the oven as you do here. <laughs> okay, so while this is going, so it's, right now it says 45 minutes, and then in a few seconds, there we go. It's gonna say on, that means you did everything right, now you can just kind of walk away from the Instant Pot. There you go. Hey, I'm excited. All right, so when your Instant Pot bread is done, I let mine sit in here for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can turn it to venting and do a quick release, or like I did, you can just let it sit. So I'm gonna turn mine to venting and all the pressure's out, so the lid will just come right off. Oh, you can't see it yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here's the hard part. Now, if you have a trivet that has little handles, that would work best, but if not, you just have to watch me suffer through this for a minute. <laughs> this is obviously not Kristen's Instant Pot because she would have the proper gear. <laughs> it's fine. All right, there we go, okay. Can we're gonna take the foil off? Yeah, you want to? Is it? Here, well, let's put it down. We'll take the foil off. There we go. Okay, now it looks like literally pumpkin bread, huh? It does. So because we did the cooking spray, it should work okay. If you want to put that on and flip it over, that would be great. This is a lot of pressure. Here we go. And I kind of just like push it down, make sure it's out, and just pull it off. Ready? Ooh. Nice. Okay, so here's the trick. You want to put the butter on while it's hot. So we're gonna use like a little brush and just brush on the butter. And then while I'm brushing it on, Elise is gonna show you the topping of it. Okay, super simple topping. Fourth cup of sugar, fourth cup of brown sugar, and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. So we're just gonna mix that together. Nice. Mm, I love all those toppings. I know, and cinnamon, nothing goes better with pumpkin than cinnamon. Right, this is where it gets like the, the snickerdoodle name from is like the cinnamon sugar mixture. Yeah. Now, as you're doing the butter, just make sure you get it in all the little crevices. Now, if you don't have one of these little bunt pans, you could also make it in like a little loaf pan or one of those stackable pans that I've showed in another video. I'll put a link in the description for you. All right, how's it looking? Good. It's crumbly. Yeah. I think I'm almost done here with my butter. So you can get really fancy and put this on a cooling rack so all your cinnamon and sugar will fall underneath it. But this is just for me and my family and I really don't care if it's fancy or not. So we're just gonna sprinkle it on just like this. All right, you ready? Okay. Okay. So I actually just like to use my fingers. You wanna help oh, me? okay. And so we're just gonna lightly just kind of like brush it on and I kind of like to pat it on, pat it in so it will stay on. I love the design of it. I know, it looks so pretty. It's kind of fun, huh? Nice festive dessert. Exactly. And obviously you can clean up the edges and make <laughs> it look fancy. Or move this to another plate. There no we go, know. that's a great idea. All right, so if you guys have made other desserts in your Instant Pot, we would love to hear what you've made. So put a comment down below and tell us what your favorite dessert is that you've made in Instant Pot. 
If you've never made a dessert in your Instant Pot, we have some delicious Instant Pot desserts for you that we'll put right up there for you. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.